How's it go? <clears throat> oh gosh. How's it going guys? Dylan from If Cars Could Talk and I hope everyone's doing well today. Now today, yes, I'm already in front of some exotic cars. One of them being is a really done up 570 McLaren. Other one is of course our Phantom. And essentially we are here in Palm Springs today because well, we're not necessarily on vacation, although it feels like one because we are going to Thermal. Now, Thermal's about half an hour away from where we are right now, and essentially it is a racetrack. We've been there before, uh, but essentially today the car company in question is Rolls-Royce. They're having an amazing event there at the racetrack, and we're essentially gonna be, well, debuting the brand new Black Badge Cullinan. Obviously they make the Black Badge for the younger generation to add a little spice to the Rolls-Royce brand, because let's be honest, the average age is like 159. So it actually kind of brings in kind of a cooler market. They're murdered out. They have all these black accents, etc. And then in addition to that, we're obviously going to be able to drive it on the track. And I think apparently we're going to be off-roading in it. So yes, we're going to be off-roading in a Rolls Royce. I never thought I would say that in a sentence. And we're obviously going to be looking at some of the other, well, cars in their lineup and driving those as well. But anyway, we got about a half an hour drive. God forbid we have to do it in a Rolls Royce. Thank you. All right, so you know you are nearby when, well, you're near nothing. We're literally in the middle of nowhere right now. Perfect place to put a racetrack. Wow, thank you. All right, so we are in the back of a Cullinan already because we are going to be chauffeured to the actual event space right now. And we're starting off from one Rolls Royce to another. hiding outside this room right now because there's music playing and I don't want to be sued for copyright, but essentially the brand new Cullinan Black badge is coming out right now. Probably not going to be able to talk much about it because music's probably going to be playing in a theatrical way, but uh, regardless I'll show you and it's going to be pretty awesome and that is obviously one of the main things that we've come here for other than well, drifting Rolls Royces on a racetrack. We have the winner. in the inside of the new Black Badge Cullinan. And this is that new carbon mesh that they were talking about. So it's obviously a lot more sporty of a car with the low gear, it changes the mapping and everything like that. Uh, pretty much Cullinan on the inside though. And then the infinity emblem. You're right. But that starlit roof is the one I go for. Never the glass. I mean, how can you beat that? This is like a, a fancy little barbecue <laughs> assembly, and I love the new wheels too. This purple is sick. It's like the Barney car. It's a giant slab of purple, two tone on the interior as well. No way, check out these carpets. <laughs> it's unbelievable with the lamb's wool. And that mesh is so cool, the carbon mesh. Uh, moving to this one here. Sorry, sorry. Alright, now we're being chauffeured, so to speak, to the next location, to the actual track. And uh, we have a new Rolls Royce. We're going to be doing it in a Dawn. Not bad. Watch that. I pushed my luck and we're going in the Phantom. <laughs> This thing's outrageous. Blue with the white interior, white pinstripes, everything. 
All right, we are on the road in the brand new Rolls-Royce Phantom, the Mac Daddy in metallic blue and white interior, so it's very subtle. Um, but wow, this thing is so smooth. I'm not a reviewer. I don't really know exactly what I'm talking about. I'll just tell you what I feel, and it's incredibly quiet compared to we have the older one, as you guys know. And uh, I mean, it's even more cloud-like with the suspension, really. It's even more floaty. It's actually kind of strange and surreal. You know, and the funny thing is people are, you said people are speeding in these. I feel the opposite. I just want to be relaxed. I'm in Palm Springs right now in a Rolls Royce. Then we're going to accelerate. Let's see what it can do. That is hilarious. And you just see the emblem lifting up. This thing is killing the speed. All right, that's a, that's a good amount of speed in a Rolls Royce. I'm going to be a good boy. A little fact is this color was named after Carlos Salamanca, who won the first kind of unofficial Formula One race. And uh, what better way to celebrate him with such a beautiful color. Look at this spec. Come on, look at that. I'd be scared about the white interior because I drive this all the time. But now we're going to be testing some of the other ones. We have a Wraith here. We have a Dawn here. Uh, here is the lineup. And of course, saving for last, the Cullinan. Okay, so we are in the Black Badge Wraith now. All right, so I must admit, I've been driving it a bit before this. Uh, couldn't help it exactly, and uh, it's just such a cool car. Um, I'm gonna be a little repetitive here, but um, one of the cool things about it is, you know, I'm in the Phantom, and I wasn't intimidated, because it's a really large chunk, you know, well, it is. it doesn't feel chunky, but it's a very large car, it didn't feel slow, and it wasn't intimidating. And then when you get in this car, suddenly you're even more hunkered down and connected, and, oh God, I gotta floor it, this Phantom's gone. And it's really fast. Like the Phantom, but even faster. It's crazy. And you just see the emblem lifting up. Like it's pouncing or something like that. It's just so cool. And um, the last point I want to make is this would be such a fun car to just take 200,000 miles because it just does everything you need. It isn't too large. I mean, of course, it's a little bit showy. But other than that, uh, I mean, it does everything you need in the most extraordinary way. And uh, we'll see what the next one has in store for us. All right, we're gonna do a little acceleration here. We're not quite done, ready? Uh, this is happening in a Rolls Royce. <laughs> oh my gosh. All right, I'm a good boy now, we're done. All right, so we've been in the Phantom over there, the Wraith, now we're going to Dawn, the one with missing the roof, the ceiling, as the rappers would say. <laughs> oh, sorry. This is so cool. Wow, so obviously just the Wraith, but uh, we can now see the sky, so this will be really nice. Have someone else close your door, this is so much fun. All right, so we're aboard the uh, Dawn now. We've, this is the third Rolls Royce I've been, we're about to floor it, excuse interruption real quick. Sorry, another very uncouth thing. So not as fast as the Black Badge, um, immediately, but it's, it's fast like the Phantom was. I mean, you don't like think, well, this is a slow, chunky thing by any means. Oh, it's really, really great. Yeah, it's just basically, it's basically a wraith with the roof cut off, but it feels like a completely different entity in itself, and that's the thing that's a little scary with these cars. Uh, you kind of want to own all three because they've somehow made all three relevant in their own way. You know, a lot of these, you know, Mercedes, BMW makes a billion different models, and they're all crossovers, and you think, well, this has got a little bit of that, this has got that, that. This feels like a totally different car. And uh, I mean, there's nothing else to say other than it's just nice to have, you know, the roof off in Palm Springs right now, relaxing. I feel like a retired old man. Uh, but when I get to the stop sign in Florida, I feel young again. Anyway, gonna enjoy the rest of the drive. We'll be on the racetrack next. The car will actually lower. Look at that. So it can go up, it can have a middle mode, and it can go down. This is like the uh, wrapper mode, apparently. This is what all the wrappers like to do. But crazy to see it transform like that. Thank you. No problem. And a Ford GT just casually driving by. That is unbelievable with the carbon fiber wheels. It's literally a sea of Rolls Royces here. The day just keeps on giving. <laughs> so we're not gonna quite go on the track yet over there with those, but we are gonna be in the Cullinan for the next hour doing uh, some on-road driving and some off-roading. Yes, that's right, we are off-roading in a Rolls Royce. What a sentence. <laughs> so we've been in the Wraith, the Dawn, and the Phantom, and now we're in the Cullinan, which is what this is all about today, the Black Badge Cullinan specifically, a little more power. Uh, as you said, a little more sinister. And uh, 
kind of just feels, it doesn't feel too massive like the Phantom, I suppose, um, but it is very high up, which is kind of weird to see it sit in a Rolls Royce and see the Spirit of Ecstasy and be at such a high vantage point. Uh, it's really crazy. Let's let's be a little immature and floor it for a second. Is that okay? Sure. You we'll want to stop trying up ahead where we yeah. will turn right. It's your license, not mine. <laughs> I don't have a license. I'm not sure. In that case, if you don't, let's pull over to the right hand side. I'll take it from here. <laughs> right here is a Cullinan flooring it by. It is a Rolls Royce SUV on a racetrack. And here are all of them lined up, ready to go. We're going to be experiencing each of them. So get it round to the right. Out now, left. Now right. Now left. Bring it out left and right. And stick it left. Yeah, you got it. That's the better. Okay, all clear this time. Well done. Yeah. All right. We just raced around in a Cullinan. Now we're racing around in a Wraith. This will be interesting. Let's do it. Okay. Now we got to do the button. I love this button. I've been in so many Rolls Royces today, this is ridiculous. That's right. Uh, could you go out and put up the cones on the slalom? Because they are everywhere. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I will do. Oops. <laughs> Thanks, buddy. Yeah, that's so weird. I mean, did that. Okay, go for it, yeah. Wow. Yes. I can tell you if you're going too quick. Yeah. <laughs> so that's not good, you haven't told me hilarious my mic is literally broken off from the ride just flinging around in the back we did the Cullinan and the Wraith and now we're gonna do the Dawn we're gonna be on a racetrack with the Rolls Royce with the roof off that sounds really cool as smooth as you can without touching any of the pads okay you'll see the car remaining very flat good well then even though you're chuckling quite aggressively sorry and then I'm like no no it's fine that's what we want to show you yeah no, no that's what I was demonstrating as well yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> well you've done it pretty uh, to do those accelerate as quick as you can you should achieve about 100 mile an hour mm -hmm. once you get through the first lot of cones I need to slam the brakes on as hard as you can and take your hands off the steering wheel okay just want to show you how stable and how oh, off the yeah that'll be okay. fun when you're ready let's go That's so impressive. I felt it was very straight and stable when I did have my hands on it earlier. Yeah, but... section of all the challenge cars from various manufacturers as you can see we have Volkswagen and the R 
This looks like a GT2 RS, but all raced down and stripped down if it wasn't crazy enough already. Obviously the new R8 uh, V10, and then a Radical Huracan, and then two 458s right here, which just look insane. So it's obviously a little pit area, and they're racing all these little things here, and it just looks crazy. Look at those gold wheels. Look at this. Well, uh, I hope you are seeing me right now because not only is my microphone broken, but my screen is actually broken on my camera, uh, the vi viewing screen. Anyway, that's just show you how wild this was. Literally racing around in every Rolls Royce you could imagine on a track in Palm Springs, the beautiful mountains behind, what a setting. And uh, I just have to thank Rolls Royce. They've been absolutely unbelievable, so helpful, not you know, uptight in any way about about letting us kind of have fun with the cars and uh, it's insane. I mean, the Black Badge Wraith was the fastest. Uh, the Dawn was awesome because being on a racetrack in a convertible Rolls Royce is just baller. SUV was interesting. It felt a little cumbersome, a little giant, but it's an SUV. And of course the Phantom uh, on the road that was meant to be on the road. It was meant to be chauffeured, I suppose though. But anyway, guys, uh, what an unbelievable freaking day. I'm losing my mind. I've driven like 10 Rolls Royces today. I, I don't know what to say. I'm very lucky, uh, very fortunate, and very happy. Uh, guys, well, if you want to see what type of equipment I use, check the Amazon links below. If you want to see me on more things, I'm, of course, on YouTube, Instagram, Facebook, and Twitter. And, uh, well, if you like the video, please give it a like. If you want to see me on more things and watch me more, uh, well, I would subscribe. Thank you so much for watching. Peace.